Hello, lovelies. I'm back with another cartoon to shove down your think hole. Today, we'll be exploring Strawberry Shortcake's Berry Bitty Adventures, episode 27, The Berry Big Harvest. See, they say berry instead of very because this is a show for retarded babies, and it's bitty because they're all itty bitty, little tiny things, but then there's even tinier, littler things than them that are, have like berry heads and I hate this crap already. And now my hate is intensifying. The episode begins with the titular strawberry shortcake preparing stuff. And this goes on and on and on. Still preparing stuff. Still doing. Still going. She done yet? Nope. Still doing it. Great. She still going? Yep. Still going. Still preparing stuff? You done yet? You done yet? Okay, now that's done. Now she starts to clean, but... She's already finished cleaning already. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy, this is an emotional roller coaster. Now she wants to go shopping or berry picking or some dumb shit. So now she's going to go riding through town saying hello to everyone. And she's still doing it. Still saying hello to everyone. Still saying hello. What is she doing now? How is she still saying hello? This... This is aggressively wasting my time now. Can you just get on with whatever the fuck it is you're here to do, Mr. Strawberry Shortcake? Still, she's still saying hello? Ho, 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 ho. Yippee dee dee. This is a fun, 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 rocket powered thrill ride of fucking fun time. Ah. Is she done yet? Nope, still saying hello! She done yet? No. Still saying hello. Get on with it. Get on with it. Get on with it. She makes it to the giant garden place, but things are shrinking, and now we're in goddamn berry fairyland or whatever. And this is where berry can bloom. Ex berry can bloom. Berry can bloom. That's his name. Yeah. Okay. Berry can bloom. Explain he's been using the Dark Lord science to shrink things so they can comfortably eat them. Because who the fuck knows what they've been doing up to this point. They just gnawing holes in the giant berries, I guess. Whatever. Now that now he's making the small things and they can... <sighs> yeah. Why do I do this? Strawberry helps... Uh, carry the harvest up to Orange's store, and uh, there's too much to fit in there. It's just too much harvest to fit in the whole store. Orange becomes overwhelmed, but refuses any help. Instead, she constructs a wind-powered irrigation system and a complicated array of vacuum tubes, and she has no time for strawberry or her fucking pity sandwiches. And then the dumb idiot berry children things get sucked up into the tubes and clog them all up and this causes explosive ruptures and sprays their corpses for miles in every direction. And this carnage goes on for some time. It just goes on for quite some time. And Orange has no time to mourn the dead. There's work to be done. So Strawberry lures her away and the girls dispose of the evidence of Orange negligent mass casualty event and Strawberry tells Orange they should build an outdoor produce market place thing and Orange learns to ask for help. Yay. Everyone's happy. Yay. Yay. They all go start building the marketplace and Barry Can Bloom tells her that his ungodly poison has accelerated the harvest time and they have to finish the marketplace at once. 
Strawberry starts yelling for help, but nobody's there. Nobody was ever there. She's just a Victorian girl dying of tuberculosis in her mother's garden. <laughs> I would make this a lot more entertaining, but no. All right, so it looks like there's an emergency now. They have to get the marketplace finished and there's harvest coming and things are finally getting interesting. How is Strawberry going to get out of this jam? <laughs> Let's find out. Here we go. What? 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 Oh, come on! You jerk me around this entire time, and when I finally get into it, you roll over and go to sleep on me? How dare you toy with my feelings, Strawberry Shortcake? I originally thought this was an idiotic pant load of toddler stink, but uh, under the surface lies a bleak dystopia. A chilling and stark reflection of the most depressing truths of our society. You have these girls, these entities, that tower above all others. A tight-knit group of oligarchs, cornering and dominating the market of their various interests. They reside in these pristine palaces, while the proletariat fester about mindlessly in the fields. They see these lesser creatures as nothing but identical, helpless fledglings that exist only as consumers to their products and as a constant source of adulation to sustain their inflated sense of self-importance. And instead of recognizing their potential for dominance by sheer numbers, these fruit-filled sheep simply flock onto whatever the popular thing is, over-consuming far beyond what they need, destroying innovation through their own ignorance. Only those that have some special skill that the girls themselves can profit from are worthy of being seen as their own person. The old man's miracle harvest is taken from the berry fairy's own lands and sold back to them at untold profits. These God Queen girls are as excitable and flawed as any other creature, but they are put on pedestals and use their positions to exploit those that depend on them. Behind Strawberry Shortcake's wooden smile and soulless eyes, there lies a beast, a horde of capitalism, a voice that strives only to make itself loud enough so that no others can be heard, so that none can rise and force her to move aside. Fuck you, Strawberry Shortcake, and your whole inner circle of fucking jerks. You are all very, very bad people. <laughs> right, so, um, that, that's it. Um, if you could, please send me a big bag of candy. And scotch. Single malt. Highland. Do it. Please? Okay. Bye. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye.